Welcome to the Daily Globe, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more breaking updates. In Southeast Asia's shifting skies, a new force is rising. The KF-21 Boramai, South Korea's bold leap toward defense independence. This next-generation fighter jet is more than just a symbol of technological progress. It represents a strategic shift in the region's balance of power. As tensions simmer and airspace becomes increasingly contested, the Boramai's arrival signals a new era for both South Korea and its regional partners. The Block II variant isn't just an upgrade, it transforms the Boramai into a true multi-role combat jet, offering advanced strike capabilities at a fraction of Western 5th Gen costs. With enhanced avionics, improved radar, and compatibility with a wide range of weapon systems, the Block II is designed to meet the evolving demands of modern warfare. Its versatility allows it to perform air-to-air, -air, air to ground and even electronic warfare missions, making it a formidable asset for any air force. Developed by Korea Aerospace Industries, the KF-21 grants South Korea operational sovereignty, enabling custom upgrades and seamless integration of indigenous weapons. This homegrown approach not only boosts national pride but also ensures that the jet can be tailored to meet specific mission requirements. The ability to rapidly adapt and innovate gives South Korea a unique edge in the global defense market. As the Baramai evolves, its appeal now stretches far beyond Korea, with nations like the Philippines eyeing it as a game-changer for their own air forces. Regional interest is growing, as countries seek to modernize their fleets and strengthen their deterrence capabilities. The KF-21's blend of affordability, advanced features, and local upgrade potential makes it an attractive option for Southeast Asian militaries. For the Philippine Air Force, the KF-21 Block II could be the most significant leap in capability in its history, redefining its defensive and offensive reach in the region. With this jet, the Philippines could better protect its airspace, respond to emerging threats, and participate more actively in regional security efforts. The Boramai promises to elevate the nation's air power to new heights. This video explores the Boramai's journey, the critical enhancements of Block II, and why it's poised to reshape air power dynamics in Southeast Asia. Join us as we dive into the technology, strategy, and regional impact of South Korea's ambitious new fighter and discover how the KF-21 is setting the stage for a new chapter in aerial defense. The KF-21 Boramai was born from South Korea's urgent need to break free from decades of dependence on aging American jets and foreign suppliers. For years, the Republic of Korea Air Force relied on imported aircraft like the F-4 Phantom and F-5 Tiger, which, while once cutting edge, had become increasingly outdated and costly to maintain. This reliance left South Korea vulnerable to shifting international politics and supply chain uncertainties, fueling a national desire for true air sovereignty. The KFX program, launched in the 2010s, was more than just a plan to build a new fighter jet. It was a bold vision to create a homegrown defense industry, one capable of designing, producing, and sustaining advanced combat aircraft for generations to come. This ambitious project brought together engineers, scientists, and policymakers, all united by the goal of technological independence and national security. The first phase, known as Block 1, focused on achieving air superiority. This included integrating advanced ASA radar technology and equipping the jet with state-of-the-art European air-to-air -air missiles, giving the KF-21 a significant edge in aerial combat and situational awareness. These innovations laid a solid foundation for future upgrades, ensuring the platform could evolve with emerging threats and new technologies. Every detail, from avionics to airframe, was designed with adaptability in mind. The Republic of Korea Air Force has set an ambitious plan to induct 40 Block 1 fighters by 2028, marking a major leap in its operational capabilities and self-reliance. By 2032, the fleet is expected to scale up to 120 fighters, transforming South Korea's air power and strengthening its deterrence posture in a rapidly changing region. But the real ambition was always to create a true multi-role platform. Block 2 will add comprehensive air-to-ground strike capabilities, enabling the KF-21 to perform precision attacks and support a wide range of missions, from deep strike to close air support. This phased methodical approach ensures that the KF-21 will remain a robust future-proof fighter, able to adapt to new challenges and technologies as they arise. The KF-21's development marks South Korea's arrival as a major player in the global aerospace industry, opening doors to international partnerships and export opportunities. The Boramai's evolution is a testament to South Korea's strategic foresight, technological ambition, 
and unwavering national resolve, a new era of air sovereignty, built at home. The shift from Block 1 to Block 2 is a transformation, turning the Boromai from a defensive fighter into a versatile strike platform. Block 2's upgrade isn't just about new weapons, it's a deep integration of advanced software, sensors, and precision-guided munitions. South Korea accelerated Block 2's development, with strike capabilities arriving as early as 2027, just a year after Block 1's debut. Enhanced targeting pods and ground mapping radar give pilots unmatched situational awareness and precision. This evolution makes the KF-21 a top export contender, offering buyers like the Philippines a future-proof combat ecosystem. Block 2 is the bridge to even more advanced variants, setting the stage for stealthier, more lethal iterations. For nations seeking rapid modernization, the Boromai's leap in lethality is a compelling proposition. The KF-21 Block II's true strength lies in its diverse arsenal of air-to-ground weapons. It integrates South Korea's own GPS-guided bombs, transforming standard munitions into precision standoff weapons. Internationally proven systems like the MBDA Spear and GBU-39 Small Diameter Bomb expand its strike options, while larger munitions like the GBU-56 Laser J Dam enable destruction of hardened targets. Future upgrades may include hypersonic missiles, keeping the Boromai at the cutting edge for decades. For the Philippines, this arsenal means credible deterrence and the ability to project power across land and sea. The Block II's flexibility would fundamentally shift the strategic calculus in the West Philippine Sea. The Philippine Air Force's multi-role fighter program stands as the centerpiece of its ongoing modernization efforts, representing a bold step forward in national defense. For years the PF has relied on light combat jets like the FA-50PH, which have served well for training and limited combat roles. However, the evolving security landscape in the region demands a more capable and versatile platform, one that can truly secure the nation's skies and project power when needed. The PAF now requires a true multi-role fighter, capable of both robust air defense and long-range strike missions. This is where the KF-21 Block II comes in, offering advanced avionics, superior radar systems, and the ability to carry a wide range of modern weaponry. With these features, the KF-21 Block II is designed to meet the complex challenges of modern aerial warfare and provide the Philippines with a significant leap in capability. Competing head-to-head -head with established fighters like the F-16 Viper and JAS-39 Gripen, the Boromai distinguishes itself with its cutting-edge features, stealth-inspired design and impressive cost-effectiveness. Its modular architecture allows for future upgrades, ensuring the aircraft remains relevant for decades. For the PF, this means not just a new jet, but a platform that can evolve with changing threats. The rapid pace of the Block II's development is a perfect match for the PAF's urgent requirements. It delivers near fifth-generation capabilities, such as enhanced situational awareness and electronic warfare, while maintaining the affordability of a fourth-generation fighter. This balance is crucial for a nation seeking to modernize quickly without overextending its defense budget. For a budget-conscious country like the Philippines, the KF-21's unique combination of advanced technology and reasonable cost is a rare and valuable opportunity. It allows the PAF to acquire a world-class fighter without compromising on other critical defense needs. The strong and growing defense partnership with South Korea further strengthens the Boromaya's case. Joint exercises, technology transfer, and ongoing support ensure that the KF-21 will not only be a purchase, but the foundation of a long-term strategic relationship, making it a natural choice as the future backbone of the Philippine Air Force. Ultimately, the KF-21 Block II is more than just a fighter jet. It represents a strategic upgrade for the Philippines, enhancing national security, regional influence, and the ability to respond to emerging threats in a rapidly changing world. The Philippines' experience with the FA-50PH laid the groundwork for deeper defense ties with South Korea. The FA-50s restored supersonic capability to the PAF and proved reliable, easy to maintain, and well-supported by KAI. This positive track record builds trust and eases the transition to the more advanced KF-21. Familiarity with KI's systems and support reduces risk and accelerates integration of the Baramai. South Korea's willingness to offer favorable terms and technology transfer makes it an ideal, long-term partner. 
A mixed fleet of F-850s and KF-21s would allow the PAF to maximize combat power while managing costs. The seamless integration of these platforms is a smart, strategic move for the Philippines. The KF-21 Boramai's arrival in Southeast Asia could dramatically alter the region's balance of air power. For the Philippines, it means a credible deterrent against incursions in the West Philippine Sea, with advanced radar, long-range, and powerful anti-ship and land-attack missiles. The Barame's presence would force potential aggressors to reconsider, raising the cost of coercion. It would also signal Manila's commitment to regional security, strengthening alliances and encouraging cooperation among Southeast Asian nations. Indonesia and Malaysia are watching closely, and a successful Philippine acquisition could spark wider adoption and regional collaboration. The KF-21 helps level the playing field, promoting stability and reducing the risk of conflict. More than a weapon, it's a strategic tool for peace and sovereignty in a contested region. Analysts agree, the KF-21 is a paradigm shift in the global fighter market. Its rapid development and staged capability integration are seen as models of efficiency and agility. The Boramai offers near fifth-generation tech, AESA radar, low observable design, at a price comparable to advanced fourth-gen jets. While it lacks the combat record of legacy fighters, its value proposition is unmatched for nations needing modernization on a budget. The main challenge will be scaling production and ensuring long-term support, but South Korea's track record inspires confidence. The KF-21 disrupts the traditional dominance of American and Russian suppliers, signaling the rise of a new defense powerhouse. It proves that cutting-edge capability is no longer reserved for superpowers alone. The KF-21 Boramai Block II stands at the crossroads of ambition and necessity for the Philippines. It offers a transformative leap in air combat capability, perfectly aligned with the PAF's modernization goals. Acquiring the Boramai would be a strategic declaration, signaling the Philippines' resolve to defend its sovereignty and uphold international law. The Boramai's advanced sensors, range, and versatile arsenal would empower Filipino leaders with credible military options for the first time. Building on the FA-50 partnership, the Philippines can confidently integrate the KF-21, ensuring long-term security and stability. The decision is momentous, with the potential to define Philippine defense for a generation. The Young Hawk offers a new dawn, where Philippine skies and seas are protected by one of the world's most advanced, cost-effective fighters.